Do you want to make a narcissist feel the weight of their actions or perhaps elicit some empathy from them? It's a common desire, isn't it? In today's discussion, I aim to offer insights that might shift your perspective. Seeking remorse from a narcissist leads us to a crucial question why bother seeking apologies from those who are toxic and rigid? Narcissists, by nature, are damaging and resistant to change. Even if they occasionally display kindness, their core remains unchanged. It's understandable to want them to feel something, but let's not invest our energy in futile pursuits. Understanding narcissists is key. They react swiftly and vehemently when their desires are thwarted. But this reaction isn't genuine emotion, it's a response, a chain reaction. So how do we prompt genuine remorse? Ironically, the path lies in reverse psychology. Since narcissists are deeply concerned with others' opinions, reversing the situation can provoke introspection. Attempting to make them understand or empathize is futile they derive pleasure from inflicting pain. So how do we evoke genuine regret? By withdrawing our presence. Narcissists feed off our emotions, so depriving them of our reactions unsettles them. They observe our every move, making our absence all the more potent. Yet it's crucial to acknowledge a harsh reality making a narcissist feel remorse is a fantasy. They lack empathy, viewing the world through a self-centered lens. Seeking apologies from them is akin to chasing a mirage. Accepting this truth liberates us. Instead of futile attempts to change them, we reclaim our power. Silence becomes our strength, denying them the attention they crave. Remember, a narcissist's world revolves around themselves. Seeking validation from them is futile. Redirect your focus towards self-care and growth. Letting go of futile endeavors frees us to prioritize what truly matters.